parts of a chicken. Hello friends and welcome to another lesson on embryology. Right now we are going to talk about the parts of a chicken and I have my friend here Chiquita who is going to help us go over that. Now Chiquita is known as a buff Orpington chicken and that is a breed of chicken that lays eggs. There are many different breeds of chickens just like there are many different breeds of dogs. Can you name a few breeds of dogs? Well, you may have thought of a Dalmatian, or maybe a Golden Retriever, or a Labrador, or maybe even a Poodle. Those are all different breeds of dogs. And just like that, there are many different breeds of chickens. So let's go ahead and get started, and we will start pointing out the different parts of Chiquita to name the parts of a chicken. First, let's take a look at our diagram. We will start with number one. Can you name number one on our picture of our chicken? Yes, this is their chicken's beak. Have you ever seen a chicken eat before? Do they have teeth? No, chickens have a special digestive system where they swallow their food whole. The food is later ground up in an organ known as the gizzard. The gizzard is made up of very strong muscles. These muscles act like a mouth and help break down the food. Sometimes chickens may swallow small stones, which end up getting trapped in the gizzard. These stones help break down the food even further, acting like teeth. Number two. Do you know what part of the body this is? I'll give you a clue. This is a kind of walk a duck does. Waddle, ducks waddle. This part of the chicken is known as the waddles. Chickens have two waddles here beneath their beak. Number three, do you know what this part is on top of the chicken's head? I'll give you another clue. It's the same name as an object you can run through your hair to make it smooth. A comb. This is known as the chicken's comb. Different breeds of chickens can have different types of combs. Chiquita has what is known as a single comb. Other chickens can have rose combs or even hair-like combs. Combs and wattles do serve a purpose for our chickens. Both hens and roosters have them. A rooster's comb and wattles are usually bigger than the hens. Chickens will look at these to pick a mate. A hen will choose which rooster she likes by the look of his comb and wattles. The comb and wattles also help the chickens when they are hot. Chickens are unable to sweat like you and I to help cool off. So instead, heat from their bodies are able to escape or are released through the comb and wattles. Number four. What part of the chicken is this? Yes, the eye. Do you think chickens have good or poor eyesight? They actually have good eyesight. They can see many different colors and movement that we as humans may never notice. Since their eyes are positioned on both sides of their head, they can see 300 degrees around them. That is almost a full circle around their bodies. Unfortunately, chickens cannot see very well at night. You and I cannot see very well at night either. Number five. Do you have any idea what this may be on our chicken? An earlobe. Chickens do not have an external ear like humans do, but they do have an ear canal and they can hear sounds. They have this piece of skin behind the canal which we call an earlobe. There is something special that we can tell from a chicken's earlobe. Can you tell me what color earlobe Chiquita has? Yes, it is red. Do you have an idea of what color egg she might lay? She lays a brown egg. Now you may have said that she lays a brown egg because she is a brown chicken, but that would not be the case. 
Even some breeds of white chickens can lay brown eggs. With our chickens, we can tell what color egg she is going to lay just by looking at the color of her earlobe. Chickens with red earlobes will lay brown eggs. Chickens with white earlobes will lay white eggs. A few exceptions to this rule are the Araucana chicken and the Easter egger chicken, which can lay blue, green, or pinkish colored eggs. Let's take a look at these pictures. Can you tell what color egg this chicken may lay? Yes, she will lay brown eggs because she has a red earlobe. Can you tell what color egg this chicken may lay? Yes, she will lay a white egg because she has white earlobes. Number six, what part of the chicken is this? This is the chicken's back. Number seven, can you tell me this part of the chicken? Yes, this is the chicken's wing. Do you think chickens can fly? Yes, they can fly, kind of. They cannot fly high in the sky like a robin or an eagle, but they can run, jump, and fly low to the ground. Their bodies are too heavy for their wings in order to fly high. However, they may be able to fly on top of short buildings. At night, chickens need a safe place to roost. This is because they cannot see well at night and a predator, like a dog or a fox, may try to attack and eat them. The best place for a chicken to roost would be in a chicken coop. But if a chicken coop is not available, you may find a chicken in a tree or even on top of a shed or garage to stay safe. Number eight, can you tell me what this part is on the front of our chicken? This is the breast of our chicken. Now, how about number nine? What parts are these? These are the thighs and legs of our chicken. Chickens mostly stay on the ground and use their legs to get around. So they typically have strong leg muscles. How many of you like eating chicken? Maybe it's fried chicken or chicken nuggets. Well, the parts of the chicken we eat the most are the thighs and the legs and the chicken breast and the wings. The thighs and the legs are mostly made up of what we call dark meat, and the breast and the wings are made up of light or white meat. The difference between the color is based on how much the chicken uses these areas of their body. Since chickens mostly walk around, they use their thighs and legs more, and that makes the meat darker. Since chickens do not fly very much, they don't use the breast and the wing muscles in their body, and this meat is lighter in color. Number 10, what are these on our chicken? The toes. Chickens walk around on their toes. They have three toes that point forward and one toe that points backward. Now, can you guess what part of the chicken is number 11? These are the shanks of our chicken. This area of the chicken's body does not have any feathers, but instead it has scales. If we were to compare the shanks and toes to our human body, this would be like our entire foot from heel to toes. Number 12, any guesses on this part of the body? This is the chicken's vent. It is an opening or an exit point out of the chicken's body. When the chicken goes to the bathroom, it exits the body out of the vent. Eggs will also exit the body out of the vent, but the chicken will never lay an egg or go to the bathroom at the same time. And lastly, number 13, what part is this? Yes, the tail. Most chickens have a tail made up of longer feathers. A rooster has longer tail feathers than the hen.
These feathers tend to be sickle shaped or curved towards the end and can be different color than the bobby feathers. Very good. Together, we have named the parts of a chicken. Now you try. Go to the worksheet and try to correctly name the parts yourself.